Oh, I am huge. <laughs> hey girl, I didn't see you here. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be about some not so ideal news that I got regarding the pregnancy and to recenter and relax, do your hair. When in doubt, do your hair. <laughs> pregnancy has been smooth selling so far I have no complaints however just a couple of weeks ago I got some news that wasn't what we were expecting and I'll talk about it you know throughout this video so I kind of wanted to talk about the importance of self-advocating of doing your own research of taking the time to make a decision and not being pressured and I think self-advocacy goes in so many different areas of life not just pregnancy boundaries if you will so as we do our hair relax <laughs> let's talk about it products that we're gonna be using today is the Mary Moisture Clarify and Soothe Black Soap line so thank you to Mary Moisture for sponsoring this video they have been such a great partner supporting this channel for the greater part of three years now and I've been using their products for three years <laughs> we'll get into each product and what they do and how I use them so let's get into the shower so I'm 38 weeks pregnant today and we got the news last week that the baby wasn't as big as they expected her to be. <laughs> oh my god, look at my hair. My hair is two weeks old, okay? Typically I would wash every week and I've been really good on that. But um, life, life got in the way. Ever since I got the news last week, I was in shambles because my pregnancy's been so great. I've been working out, eating clean. And then they were like, your baby's not growing the way that they expected her to be. But at the same time, I was like, hang on, okay? <laughs> because the midwife started talking about inducing because I'm already full term. There's nothing left for the baby in the womb, she says. Induce, get the baby out. She'll do better on the outside. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. I feel some sort of way about this. <laughs> so I told her, no, I didn't want to induce. <laughs> and I was gonna wait it out. Based on all the research that I've been doing, because you know, I'm basically a doctor now. I told her no. <laughs> And we almost got into a little mini argument, but I felt like it was very important for me to advocate for myself. So let's hop in the shower, let's wash our hair, and let's discuss further the importance of saying no and the importance of self-advocating. Now let's get a closer look at this hair before we wash. What I am going to do is a, I don't know, like a flat twist style situation. I should braid my hair because I'm about to give birth at some point, but I'm being very stubborn, so. Hop in the shower. First thing first, let the water wash away all of your problems as it hydrate your hair and your body. So the story started about four weeks ago when they couldn't tell if the baby was heads down. Our second trimester ultrasound confirmed that the baby was heads down, but somehow in the third trimester, they couldn't really tell. So they sent us for an ultrasound and at that ultrasound, which was about a month ago, they found out that I had a little bit too much amniotic fluid. Apparently there's a range, mild, medium, and excessive. And I was on the milder side, but the midwife was still pretty concerned. She said that we we're gonna keep an eye on it and do another ultrasound in two weeks she also sent me to do the glucose test again and if you've ever been pregnant we know how much we hate the glucose test and let me tell you something that test gives you diabetes okay anyway so i passed the glucose test with flying colors and at the following appointment my amniotic fluid actually went down tremendously so nothing to be too concerned about at that ultrasound they noticed that the baby wasn't as big as she was charting to be and that is when all of the information started rolling at me and I was just 37 weeks at that point so I am technically full term and she started treating it like an emergency you need to get induced right away why if the baby's not as big as you would like her to be wouldn't it be best to keep her in the womb so that she fattens up a little bit? That's basically what happens in the third trimester. However, the biggest concern is the fact that her growth could be restricted. Now, there isn't a way to fully confirm this. Typically, when there is some growth restriction going on, it means that there is an issue with the placenta. Based on the testing that they've done, my placenta is fine. And also, all the testing that they've done on baby, she's also fine. She's breathing fine, she's moving fine, she's actually very active. So, because because she's passing all of these tests with flying colors, I was like, maybe I should just let things be. And this is where the midwife and I disagree. So of course, instead of rushing into this and treating it like an emergency, like she is trying to make it seem like, I decided to go home and wash my hair. <laughs> because I guarantee you, stressing about the situation is not going to make it any better. And I just wanted to take the time to digest the information rather than getting induced right away. What's the point of rushing the process? So of course, I started doing my research. Because the baby is passing all of the tests that they're making us do, 
I am taking the stance of not messing around with things that may not want to be rushed. And that is where self-advocacy is so important. Being able to advocate for yourself, being able to have the ability to communicate your needs will allow you to thrive in so many different situations. As much as I felt pressured and pushed by the midwife, I decided to just take a stand to say no. And I actually feel very empowered in that decision. Of course, I'm the doctor, so it makes it difficult to be confident in certain decisions that we want to take, especially when it comes to our health. But I actually think that we know our body best. We know ourselves best. And Sometimes we need to trust our gut and trust ourselves, especially in situations where you feel like you're being pushed in a direction that you may not want to go. By the way, these products make me feel so good about washing and conditioning my hair. I love using effective products in my hair, especially now with the new knowledge that I have on how to take care of my hair. I gave myself two shampoos because I'm looking for cleanliness. I want my scalp and my hair to be clean before I go in with a conditioner and this conditioner when you add a little bit of water it foamed up like a shampoo it made my detangling process so easy and I love that feeling of washing and conditioning my hair and for it to feel so soft so hydrated when it came to styling I use minimal products I only use the mousse and put my hair into some flat twist now with this style you can actually leave your hair in the flat twist and I'm thinking of doing something similar when I give birth but since I wanted to look cute and feel good about myself I decided to take down the flat twist the next day and just like that it's the next day Let's take down our hair nothing makes me feel better about life about myself about my soul like taking care of myself washing my hair conditioning my hair taking care of myself showering nothing makes me feel better so it doesn't even matter what this hair looks like all I know is that I already feel better but I do want it to turn out nice you know I wanted to sit under the dryer last night but I didn't so I just let it air dry for those that are asking. <laughs> this could be a style right there, just by itself. But we're gonna take down the front for a little razzle dazzle, you know, why not? It's funny, cause I'm so close to labor. <laughs> I'm 38 weeks. Everyone's telling me that I should braid my hair, but <laughs> I don't want to, I'm being very stubborn with it. I may regret it, I'm not gonna lie. My reasoning is that I love doing my hair so much. And if I can't find an hour or two to do my hair in like two weeks, what is life going to be? What is life as a mother? I am risking it all, okay? By not braiding my hair and just doing my hair weekly, which is what I do. And using products like this, that just makes it so effortlessly, takes out all the calculation <laughs> out of hair. I don't see it going bad. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is what we're working with. We already know how it is with hair, okay? Pick it out, play with it. So now for the front, could put it down this way, but I don't know if I... You know what? Hmm. I could do that or I could just completely mess it up and do a little pompadour this way. What do we think? A or B? I think I'm gonna do A. Have a little swoop action like this and start pinning. Okay. Yo, we like it. All right. Oh my God. Let me do, oh, now I'm getting too excited. Let me use a little edge control. Why not? <sighs> Only if I can get off the floor. Okay. Give me a moment. Oh, oh. All right. All right, we're, we're good. Boom, there we go. <laughs> she looks cute. What do we think? I feel like sometimes we underestimate the power of just washing, conditioning, and setting our hair so much because that's all I did to my hair. I didn't do anything extra. And my hair feels so nice, so soft, so moisturized without feeling greasy, without being weighed down, without the buildup. Anyways, that's what I want for you too, girl. And I also want for you to advocate for yourself, speak up for yourself, not just in pregnancy because there's so many different areas of our lives that I feel like we let people push us in directions that we don't actually want to go to. And it's so important to stand firm on your ground. I think it also comes with you being confident in yourself to be able to say no, to be able to say, hmm, hang on, let me think about it. Or to just say, thank you for the advice and move in a different direction because it's so important for us to do the things that we want to do, to do the things that truly motivate us, things that fuel us, or if it doesn't feel right, to be able to say, hmm, it doesn't feel right, I'm gonna go with my gut feeling, which is what I'm doing right now with this pregnancy. Despite everything, you know, the midwife is telling me, and she's saying some scary stuff, you guys. I understand the risk, but I'm really listening to my body, I'm listening to my baby, and I can feel her move in my belly right now as I speak, and it's the greatest feeling 
ever but all of that lets me know that she's okay i'm a small woman and she's probably gonna be a small person as well and there's nothing wrong with that i don't think that's reason enough for me to yank her out of her natural habitat because someone else may be anxious about it and i get it you know liability and it's one of those things that's very difficult to navigate i feel like this is my first experience at being a parent and making a difficult decision for your child I'm not a doctor i don't know what's going to happen but I'm, my husband and i are making this difficult decision of keeping her in my belly <laughs> because it's also risky right things could go wrong we're not even gonna give that energy any type of space to flourish i believe that everything's going to be okay i believe in myself i believe in my body i believe in god i believe in the power of prayer <laughs> i'm also 38 weeks so i could go into labor at any point <laughs> So that's what we're gonna do. And I can't wait to be a mom. <laughs> it sounds so crazy to even say it out loud. And I'm actually filming in the nursery right now. So I need to like film a little nursery tour for y'all, but um, it's gonna be an interesting journey. Anyway, I'm rambling. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to advocate for yourself in every area of life. Okay, that's what I want for you. And I'm sure you're gonna enjoy that journey as well. Speak up when you want to. Or don't speak up when you don't want to. Don't let someone push you around. Um, do your research always and do what feels right. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you to Mario Moisture for sponsoring it. Don't forget to pick up this product at your local Shoppers Drug Mart if you are in Canada. They are readily available, affordable, and effective. It doesn't get any easier than that when it comes to natural hair. Plus, the good thing with the Mario Moisture products is you can mix and match them as you see fit, depending on how your hair is feeling, depending on what you're looking for. So they just take all the math out of hair care for you. Okay, I'm out of here. Bye.